Hello, hey, what's up? Come on down, take a seat. We're reading another creepypasta story. That's it, that's all I got. Why are you still here? On to the video. Everyone hated Grady. All these decades later, I can still clearly recall when he moved to our quiet little town early one year and into a large house down the road from my own modest home. His parents had left him an enormous inheritance and he took great pleasure in flaunting his wealth at every opportunity. But we didn't despise Grady because he was well off. We hated him because he was a pestilence that wreaked havoc throughout our once peaceful community and there was nothing we could do about it. Grady believed his money meant he could do whatever he wanted without consequence. And he was right. He was a pampered and inept man, far too lazy to do anything for himself, and nowhere near clever, yet highly proficient at ensuring the right people were paid off. When an elderly school teacher berated Grady for speeding past the playground and nearly running over a small boy, her house mysteriously burnt down. When a waitress at the local diner rebuked Grady's advances, her father was attacked by two masked men during his regular evening jog and suffered a brain injury. Even the police were in Grady's pocket. On the rare occasion when someone tried to report him, the case always managed to somehow get swept under the rug. Simply avoiding Grady wasn't enough. Sometimes he appeared to select his targets at random. Even innocuous, mundane actions could incur his terrible wrath. By the time hurricane season rolled by, the threat of dangerous weather wasn't the only thing the townsfolk were living in fear of. Then one night, he drunkenly ran over my dog. And I really began to hate him. When news of an impending storm reached us, many opted to evacuate. I chose to stay behind, and so did Grady. I'm not sure why he didn't leave or make any sort of preparations beyond purchasing a portable generator. I suppose his ego made him feel invincible. The wind whipped through the trees, rain poured down, and the power predictably went out. After it was all over, I drove around to survey the damage. I returned to see Grady lost without his creature comforts, attempting to set up his new generator with almost everyone gone or preoccupied with the storm's fallout. It seemed Grady finally had to get his own hands dirty. He obviously had no clue what he was doing. Then an idea occurred to me, so I made my way to his house. Days passed. Eventually, the police knocked down Grady's door and discovered him dead in his bed. Eyes closed in eternal sleep. In the next room, sat his generator. The explanation was a tragic accident that happens every hurricane season. Carbon monoxide poisoning. As they watched them carry the body bag out of Grady's house, I thought back to our last conversation. I'd be happy to help you set that up, Grady, but if you run it outside, someone's gonna steal it. The safest place to keep it is inside the house. Alright, that was hurricane season. I hope you enjoyed it. It had a cool little short and sweet, just wrapped it all up in a nice, neat little bow. Kind of gave you the exposition of what happened after the little the little, you know, flash forward situation. I like that. That wasn't bad. I had a couple moments where it was a little bit like, uh, okay, I'll suspend my dis disbelief a little bit more. Little bit, a uh, little bit more. Frankly, don't think I should sp suspend it that much. But we'll do it. I don't know where that came from. I'm just having a good time. If you enjoyed the video, do me a solid. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Share it with your friends. Let them know this guy fucking rocks, bro. 
and hit the like button if you liked it. If not, hit that dislike button. That's what it's there for. It tells me that people ain't digging it. I'm fucking it. And that's the that's the benefit of that button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see next. Uh, if there's anything I can do. Currently, I'm working on a couple projects right now that I uh, should have up. I don't know, probably within the next month or so. But I, I, I don't know when. Don't want to promise. But constantly working on shit. Trying to get that production value up there so you guys can see something that's like... Not just crap, but love you guys. See you next time. Enjoy your night. Have a good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Bye.